Hey there, Clashers! It is your host, Galadon. Thank you for stopping by Clash of Clans Attacks. We've got another exciting Let's Play Together episode here today. Again, brought to you by the safe and trusted way to get free gems in Clash of Clans. Also, a way to give back to the channel that has brought you over 300 episodes of Clash of Clans Strategy and Attacks. So check them out, but we're going to get right into this episode because this is an episode that I know people have been waiting for for a long, long time. Town Hall 7, how to get that Barbarian King quickly. Now, of course, we know that Supercell, thank you very much to the last update, made it a lot easier by giving us a DE drill at Town Hall 7. But I can tell you by personal experience that it can be done in a day. If you have that Dark Elixir storage built, you will need to boost those barracks probably three to four times. So I'm guessing six to eight hours worth of raiding solid if you can. That way you can avoid being raided and having any DE stolen from you. It will cost you 120 to 160 gems to boost all four of your barracks the entire time. Uh, hopefully you hit that 1250 trophy mark uh, at Town Hall 6 and so you have a big... A cache of gems there if you didn't spend them all somewhere else and uh, that is a great place to spend those gems now to boost the barracks to get this barbarian king and as you can see here we're bringing a, a pretty standard army I brought almost the same army every single time lots of archers lots of barbarians a, a sprinkling of wall breakers and goblins uh, just to try to make sure that we can get through some critical walls just in case we see large stores of DE like we saw here and uh, although we're bringing a cheap barching army you can see with just a few extra troops and some focus of a bunch of troops in one specific area uh, we can go after that DE specifically uh, we're not worried about trophies here we're not worried about 50% or town halls we just want to clean out the DE as best as possible uh, from time to time while we do this it would be nice to try to preserve some trophies take 50% when we can but it is not critical uh, I did find that the best area for me was around gold 2 gold 3 I was seeing a lot of offers uh, but I was probably Probably passing up about 30 offers uh, every time so that's about 10,000 in gold right there just to find a base like this but as you can see here uh, you're usually going to get that back and also you're going to get a pretty good amount of dark elixir now the army cost I calculated it out for those of you who are into the math uh, if you brought 70 archers 64 barbarians 8 wall breakers 20 goblins and 6 giants uh, that costs about 45,000 elixir and if your barracks are boosted that's only going to take about 10 minutes to train up that whole army so you could train foreseeably 6 of those armies an hour and it's probably going to take you 10 minutes or so to find a base that has four, five, six hundred dark elixir in it uh, you're also going to spend again about 10,000 gold searching for it. And then also, if you're bringing spells, you're gonna spend another 10 to 40,000, 60,000 gold uh, in spells as well. Uh, but you're going to get that back. Uh, inevitably, you're gonna get it back because any village that has that much DE for the stealing is also going to have gold and elixir sitting around. And in this case here, you can see I got to the DE. That was my goal, uh, but I did end up taking a bunch of other resources. And now the archers are on the town hall. And again, uh, like I just mentioned, I want to try to keep around gold three. So I didn't want to lose every single attack. I wanted to win some, lose some. And uh, so here you can see the archers are just about to take out that town hall. Uh, I bring those spells, but I tried not to use the spells. I would say on average, I only use the spells one out of every five or six attacks. Uh, I did use the clan castle here though. I've got some wizards in there and they're headed in. I was hoping they could take out that town hall and they're closing in. They're so close. I've got a wizard working on the town hall there, some archers, and they're going down. Is it going to be a heroic wizard? Heroic wizard? No, the heroic wizard is not to be. He goes down. We've got another one trying to work on the uh, clan castle. And uh, one last Barbarian in there, he's not going to go for the Town Hall. So out of frustration here, I went ahead and dropped the Lightning Spell on the Town Hall, took it out, got the win there, and uh, took nine trophies rather than losing a whole bunch. So a big part of the key to DE farming is knowing where that DE is. Again, here you can see that the collectors, the mines and the elixir pumps look pretty empty. And usually that is going to be the same for the DE drill. So here we knew that that over 800 in DE was sitting in that storage right behind the town hall. So it just happened to be in the way. So we get the town hall out of the way. We've got archers and barbarians down and they're actually distracting while we drop those wall breakers in there. And now we're just going to overrun that wizard tower. There's a clan castle coming out and now I don't lightning DE and that doesn't count don't say it before you put it in the comments that was not me lightning the DE I was lightning on the clan castle it just happened to be they were run, running over the DE uh, it worked out the uh, archers and the wizards come in there wipe out that DE over 700 taken from this raid definitely walking away with a big profit 
and not lightning on the DE. So we move on to the next raid here, and this raid is just an example of sometimes you have to use your entire army, everything you've brought just to get to that one structure, but it was very tempting, over 800 Dark Elixir sitting in there in that storage, and uh, but it is well protected, lots of splash damage around there, also two Archer Towers, two cannons to get through before we get there, but we are very patiently working our way in, unfortunately I only brought five Wall Breakers, and those slightly higher level walls are going to pose a bit of a problem, but hopefully once we clear the these structures here we can head a little bit closer to the DE protected by a hidden Tesla that is unfortunate the last wall breaker not quite through the wall there but we should be close enough that once these other structures are down we can just send in the archers and overwhelm that area and try to get over the wall to that DE I'm gonna go ahead and drop the last of my barbarians and goblins here just in hopes that maybe they can puncture this wall and get through and uh, eventually I drop a heal spell in desperation the last of my wizards clan castle the archers and now the archers are targeting the DE about that same time the wall finally goes down the goblins go in we clear out that DE and we take all but 21 dark elixir and thankfully the dragon from the clan castle and the level 6 giant come out at the last moment but it is too little too late we have stolen our DE and enough elixir to pay for the troops in the raid all right, moving right along, we are reminded that the DE isn't always in the storages. Sometimes we're going to run across collector bases. And here is an example, empty expos, full gold mines and elixir storages around the outside. And of course, yes, look at the little collector on top of that DE drill. It is completely full with the good dark stuff. And there is another one over there. So we're going to send in some barbarians, a few goblins, archers. And luckily, they are on the outside, so they're going to target them right away. And uh, so we've cleared that one. We've already collected over 500 in dark elixir and uh, we're going to let the uh, troops run out over here maybe collect some gold and some elixir from these other mines that are around the outside just very tempting uh, there's a lot of loot to be stolen from this base uh, we're focused on the DE but at the same time uh, those uh, DE drills are relatively easy to get to so we don't need to sweat it we don't need to focus all of our army there we're even going to go ahead and try to take out the uh, town hall and save some trophies here I've got some troops on the fringe on the far right there working on that clan castle the camp the builders hut there just to get those out of the way first and that way it makes it easier to drop troops and see where they're going to target specifically the drill there we send in the goblins while the barbarians are distracting the defenses the goblins pretty much do the entire job there so we have a lot of troops left and we're going to go ahead and finish off this raid by grabbing some more gold and elixir on the right hand side there at the very top of your screen wiping out those gold mines and then we're just going to overwhelm the queen here at the bottom drop everybody in there to wipe out the queen take out that town hall and even a little more elixir there and walk away with a very, very profitable raid and over a thousand DE stolen. Now, while as a rule, I generally will not lighting anyone's dark elixir storage, there are exceptions to every rule, and this is one such example right here. Now, the raid started off innocently enough. I was just going to take that mortar out of the way so I could take his town hall and then maybe just grab some of those resources that he wasn't going to use anyway sitting in those collectors there. But unfortunately, he had trapped his town hall not only with a hidden Tesla, but with a couple of skeleton traps as well. So that is going to cost me a lot of units trying to take those out. The giant working on the mortar goes down. Got to drop a whole bunch of barbarians and archers here. And this is just going to take forever to get this town hall out of the way. Eventually it is going to go down, but I had to pay him back for making me go through all this effort to waste all of these units on just getting the town hall, wandered over to his DE and gave it a little tap. So yes, I ended up trading one lightning spell for 234 DE, but I didn't want to do it. You saw it. He started it. So about 6 hours and 25 raids later, we had achieved 10,000 in Dark Elixir stolen. We finally had enough to go out and buy our level 1 Barbarian King. And there he is. We're going to take him out here. And that's one of the great things about this guy here. We don't have to wait for that altar to be built. It is instantaneous. There he is. That is the good news. The bad news... Well, he's upgradable all the way to level 5 at Town Hall 7. And you're going to want to get him there because it will unlock his Iron Fist. So even with all of the DE that is being added to the game in this most recent update with the addition of a Dark Elixir drill at Town Hall 7 and an extra at Town Hall 8, it is going to be many hours of farming to get that Barbarian King up to level 5, 
or you could just be like Hayo here from Full Attack and go out and find yourself three completely stuffed DE drills on a Town Hall 10 collector base and he's going to go in there and clean those out and walk away in one raid with 3,600 DE. So there you have it. You can certainly farm that Barbarian King's DE in one day if you've got the dedication and the time to do it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please do check out Feature Points. Use the referral code Galadon for 50 free points. Check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow with more full attacks. Galadon, no more caffeine for you.